Lesson 6. Dopamine as your friend. Although dopamine can work against you, it's not an evil neurotransmitter just waiting to find yet another temptation to break your long-term goals. Its effects, described in the last lesson, can be used to modify bad habits and turn them into good ones. Dopamine can automate new habits, rendering the level of your self-discipline irrelevant because the behavior will happen with no resistance. Dopamine motivates you to give in to a temptation because it wants, and expects, a reward. It responds to a cue that your brain already associates with a specific outcome, such as the rush of sugar from a chocolate bar. Your reward center can crave good rewards instead of bad, though. A healthy smoothie can be a good reward associated with seeing your running shoes because of the reward, a delicious smoothie, coming right after the run. Soon you'll find yourself craving to get outside and jog. The best part is that you don't even have to exert much self-discipline. It's your dopamine that motivates you to perform the task. If you want to form a habit to jog three times a week, you can associate it with drinking a smoothie soon afterward, reading a book for an hour, or an afternoon nap. When your brain starts associating the cue, putting on running shoes, with the reward, a smoothie afterward, it will work to help you get off the couch. However, dopamine produces the most powerful rush when the reward is in sight. If you're separated from your goal by several weeks or months, break it down into smaller actions and reward yourself for each one to increase the strength of the dopamine spike. Motivation will build up as you achieve small wins. A smoothie delivered right after the workout will motivate you better than the visions of getting fit several weeks or months from now. Dopamine isn't only triggered by what you consider a reward. Even something as simple as listening to your favorite music while running can be enough to trigger a spike and help you stick to a new habit. Here are several rewards you can test to introduce new routines in your life with less resistance. Food. If you're trying to lose weight, you should reward yourself with healthy, low-calorie snacks like fruits, a few nuts, or vegetables. Experience. Experiences give people more lasting happiness than things. Consequently, it's better to motivate yourself with the promise of going out with your friends than buying new clothes or a new gadget. Music. Studies show that music reduces the perception of effort during low to moderate intensity exercise by about 10%. Listening to your favorite tracks while jogging will reduce the resistance to get your body moving. A break. The Pomodoro Technique is a common time management technique that helps with procrastination by breaking down every task into 25-minute blocks. After 25 minutes, you get a 5-minute break. Scheduling such breaks helps you get to work. The promise of a break produces a burst of dopamine and reduces distractions. A nap. Motivate yourself to perform a task by promising yourself a short nap afterward. A short 15-minute nap will increase your alertness and help you focus on other tasks for the day. Plan something pleasant. When the vision of holidays is too far in the future, a better alternative is to reward yourself with browsing travel magazines or websites and researching potential destinations. Planning is half the fun and works like a charm to motivate yourself to finish a project. When you do it, not as a distraction, but after work. Relieve the tension. Get a massage, cuddle with your partner, meditate, go to a sauna, or take a walk. If you know there's a stress-relieving reward waiting for you after finishing a given task, you'll have an easier time doing it. Novelty. Dopamine responds to novelty. If you have a hard time leaving your home for the gym, come up with a new exercise 
like a climbing wall instead of running on a treadmill, or attending a different fitness class, or changing your workout. If you struggle with sticking to your new eating habits, try eating something new, but still healthy. Variation Variation works similar to novelty. Mix things up. Perform fewer reps and more sets. Choose a different route for your daily jog. Add new spices to your staple meals. Small changes can be more than enough to encourage you to stick to your goals. Making dopamine work for you instead of against you not only turns an enemy into a friend, but puts a powerful ally on your side.